Good evening and thank you very much for having me tonight. I would like to start by sharing how I came up with the topic because prior to writing my thesis, I spent my exchange semester in Colombia. And as amazing as it was, it was also the first time that I experienced living in a country where women are still perceived slightly different than men. And it inspired me to write my thesis about women and entrepreneurship because it's the driving force in changing women's lives all over the world. In general, like we've all learned, new business creation is the single most important factor for economic growth of a country. And nowadays, women's, women are the um, fastest growing population of new entrepreneurs. Female entrepreneurship is especially important because it gives women the, a chance to be more independent. But possibly the biggest benefit is that women are far more likely to spend their income on their children, around 80% of it, than men, meaning that it benefits the future generations as, as well. And because female entrepreneurship is so important, or rather because it should be so important, I was very surprised to find out that only 119 articles have ever been published about this topic. And one of the most often cited concepts of female entrepreneurship is entrepreneurial self-efficacy, meaning the self-confidence that one has the necessary skills to start their own venture. And it's usually used to measure entrepreneurial intentions. So it sounds very fancy, but it basically just means that an individual who thinks that he or she has the necessary capabilities to start their own business are obviously far more likely to start their own business. And that men more often exhibit this feature than women, meaning that they more often start their own ventures than women. However, no one has ever taken this concept one step further. What happens to those individuals who believe um, that they do not have the necessary capabilities but they still go ahead and start their own venture. How is that going to affect every dimension of their business, especially the business size, the business growth, the innovation and export propensity of the business? So in a nutshell, my thesis is about showing that people who believe in their business capabilities will have superior startups and that men more often exhibit this feature than women, meaning that their ventures will perform better. So I use data provided by the Global Entrepreneurship Monitor, and it's an organization that annually surveys more than 240,000 uh, entrepreneurs in over 70 countries. And the most important findings of my thesis is that men do in fact own larger startups with more growth, more innovation and export propensity, and that entrepreneurial self-efficacy, so the business self-confidence, is the single best predictor for predicting the venture performance and that women are far more influenced by it than men. To give you a quick example, it means that on average, men will have in five years five, uh, five employees more than women. And speaking in um, small business creation on a global scale, that's quite a lot. I was able to derive other findings in my thesis, such, such as that um, women are far, uh, far more successful when they found in teams or that it's better for them to have a mentor in innovation propensity. But you would have to, to read my thesis to find out more about that. <laughs> so I would like to finish by, um, by showing the, uh, the practical importance of my thesis. While writing it, I went around campus and I asked my fellow students, do you feel like you have the necessary capabilities to start your own business? And about 82% of the men and 69% of the women said they did. And this is a business university where everybody should leave feeling like he or she has the necessary abilities to start their own business. And so while my thesis might seem like a theoretic and abstract concept, um, it's actually a real life problem that's affecting all of us. And it's within our responsibilities as students and professors alike to do our share of translating women's entrepreneurial potential into entrepreneurial practice. <laughs> Thank you very much.